morning. Uh, my name is Nick, and I'm going to do the call of offering or for offering. So I'm going to share. I uh, wanted to share my uh, my testimony of what God has done for me so far. So in the last two years, God developed the 100% focus model, which is 70% I focus on God, and 30%. I focus on my personal things. So the 70% focusing on God, I learned to study the Bible, listening to E.G. White uh, and the Bible, sharing gospel, starting a ministry, working in ministry, serving the church, praying, being obedient, following instructions, and continuing to dwell on the light, right? That's 70%. The 30%, I broke it down to 10% each, so it's like, 10, 10, 10, right? So I only focus 10% on my personal life, 10% on my professional life, and 10% on my academic life. And why? Because I'm going to allow God to put in 100% on each of that 10, which equals to 110. So this is what has God has done for me so far. In my per personal life, I have great relations with my family, friends, and colleagues. All of you, right? I love you guys. Uh, I'm in good health. My mom is in good health. I'm able to serve the church in whatever capacity that God calls me to do. God provides food on the table, roof over my head, and bills are paid on time. In my professional life, as many of you know, I'm a realtor. I sell houses and I lease houses. I started a separate property management company uh, called Washington Harbor Homes in the last two years, and it continues to grow. And God sent my dear friend, Dr. Ed Coy, back there to help me set up class office locations in Chevy Chase, Maryland, DuPont Circle, DC, Tyson's Corner, Virginia. So as you know, God is the CEO of my company, and he's also the business developer. Yeah. Now, the last 10% in my academic life, it wowed me too. So I'm, I finished all my required classes for my PhD, right? I have two more research classes to take. Uh, I just need to get my QRM approved so I can do my research study um, for doctrine and management on organizational leadership, specializing in information systems and technology. My GPA, 3.82, in the last, it's been like that for the last year and a half. It's, it's all the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Since I got the 3.82 GPA, folks, in the last year and a half now, that's like about three semesters, right? Three semesters. Uh, I've been nominated three times as a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, in which two former presidents of the United States, Barack Obama and George W. Bush, is a member of. And also, I was nominated as a member of the Mu Delta Mu Lambda Sigma chapter, and that's the International Honor Society in Business. Amen. So, uh, there you have it, folks. Hopefully, I've inspired you today to give tithe and stay close to Jesus and serve the church and serve him. And, um, yeah. So, before I pray, let's, let's find out where we're going to go ahead and send that tithe, right? So first, you can bring your tithe in to church. Hopefully, I'll see you on Sabbath right in the back um, of the church. Or you can drive by to the church, and there's a nice locked uh, mailbox. Um, you can mail it. Uh, if you're old school, you like to write a check. Uh, 6100 Brooklyn Bridge Road, Laurel, Maryland, 2070. Or you can go ahead and you know submit it online, which is, uh, there's the uh, uh, I guess the link right there, uh, www.reachinghearts.org, uh, online giving. Okay, so let us pray, folks. Dear my Lord, thank you so much for being our Yahweh and Elohim, Lord. Please uh, bless us with abundance, um, you know, this year and next year, Lord, and prosper and take our contributions, Lord, to do your good works and win the souls of the lost for you, Lord. And thank you so much for the blessings you've given us and the blessings are coming. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.